Hello everybody, it's Stefan Jabeer here from the Stefan Jabeer Guitar Academy. Let's take a look at something special today, the seven octave shapes of the guitar. Did you know the guitar has seven octaves? We've got five position but seven octaves. So let's just take a look at what they are and then we're going to work together on those seven octaves to really improve your playing and give you a better understanding of the lay of the land of the instrument. So. I'm going to talk about two types. We have the type that is moving towards the bridge and downwards. And then we have the type that's moving towards the headstock and downwards. We'll look from the low to the high strings. Using the key of C, I know it's the music teacher's key, and in the future I'll use other keys as well, but let's just use that today as our reference point. So we'll go to C, and we will play on string group 4-6, that's our first octave. So I've got the C on the 6th string, on the 8th fret, and on the 4th string on the 10th fret. You can see that is slanted towards, it's, it's coming towards the bridge this way. So that is my first octave. Then the second set of strings will be string group 3-5. And I have my C on the 5th string 3rd fret, as well as the third string, fifth fret. Again, slanted. In fact, shape-wise, they're exactly the same. The next C in the configuration is usually in position two, or it is in position two, string group two, four. We've spoken about that in previous videos. I'm on the fourth string, 10th fret, second string, 13th fret. Um, you see there's an adjustment there? That's due to the tuning. So if I play that, that looks like that is not going to work. It's, go, it's going to go up one, unless I want that major seventh sound. Then that can work. But for the octave, gap of two in between for string group two and four. And then we've got the same configuration there. So we've got two of the same configurations there. Slanted downwards, string group one and string group three. So let's just take a look at everything together. We've got, and just this one just to tell you, so the first string, 8th fret, and the third string, 5th fret. In the description below, I have included tablature. Please download it, you can practice along. And if you like the videos, again, please subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I'd like to converse with you, and I'd like to hear what you think. Okay, so, we've got this shape, we've got this shape, the same. So these are the, this is the 4, 6, this is the 3, 5, this is the... 2, 4, and this is the 1, 3. Okay, so these are towards the bridge and downwards. So we've got this, 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 and this. So those are, we've got how many there? Four. They are four in total slanted this way. Now let's take a look at the one slanted that way towards the headstock. I also call that southeastern and this southwestern. So southeastern we have, here we've got string group, three, six it's the third string and the sixth string fifth fret on the third string that's my c on the sixth string i've got the eighth fret okay again this one has got a gap of two in the guitar world the world of the fretboard if you think in terms of gaps it makes it easy so this one is not like that that would be a flat nine it's a type of spanish type of sound that but this is going to be here, but over here, there's a gap of two. That is important. So we've got string group one, uh, sorry, string group three, six. And after that, go for string group two, five. Second string, first fret. So second string, first fret. Fifth string, third fret. Gap of one. Can you see there's a gap of one? So from there to there, there's one gap in between the shape. Sometimes you can't always see it nice there, but there's that gap of one. And the same here, this is the gap of one. I'm on string one, eighth fret. I'm on string four, tenth fret here. Again, if you feel I'm going too fast, I understand. I like to work through these things quickly. Look in the description below. Nice tablature for you to download. And you can just put it, in, you know, print it out and follow along. Okay, so what do we have here? There's, in a southeastern direction, we have three shapes. We've got string group one. Sorry, string group three, six, string group two, five, string group one, four. So, and 
the other shapes we had four. And here we've got three. That covers the entire neck. Now let's do an exercise here again in the description. Follow along. String group four, six. We're going to play the major scale. So I'm just going to play it. Okay, I'm going to do it without the trill so you can follow along. And then I'm going to do a high, low, high. I like all my students to practice high, low, high as well. So high, low, high means I start at the highest note, I go to the lowest and I go back up to a highest note. That was on string group four, six. Practice that along, play that along. Now string group three, five. Let's do the high, low, high. String group two, four now. So this thing is going to alter. The first bit will be the same. But we can't, if we go there, it's not going to work. Because of the tuning, you've got to adjust it a half a step up. Same shape, but half a step up. Because of the tuning, this is tuned. The G to the B, G, A, B is the major third. So, here we go. Let us do the high, low, high. This is string group 2, 4. Let's go to string group one, three. High, low, high. So we've covered the southwestern direction. Let's go for the southeastern direction. Starting with string group, this time we're getting it right, three, six. As little movement on the fingers as possible where you can. You know, be, be, if you look at my left hand there, I try to be as eco economical as possible. Let's go to string group two, five, C major scale. Good to work with the open strings as well. High, low, high. on the 13th fret and the 15th fret. High, low, high. Finally, string group one and four. This is usually part of the one, four, six position one configuration. High, low, high now. Lovely, perfect cadence at the end, just to end it off. So, just to recap, very important. There are four positions that go from a south-western direction, so slanted down this way. Three that's on a south-eastern uh, direction. Do we have southwestern? Four in total. Southeastern three. That one's the same as that one. So there you have it. Those are the seven octave shapes. The secret is practicing everything in that. So you've got to do pentatonic scale, blues scale, everything you can practice in those little groupings, as well as the, you know, when you let's let's just take a blues scale example. This is one four six. If I practice it just in the four six in the small octave configuration, the blues would be. And over here, the blues would be... It makes you understand, okay. It goes to an octave, it comes back. It's one, two, three, four, five, six notes, and back to the octaves. It's not just, okay, this is the pattern, and I don't know where the start and the end is. I know this is an octave. And likewise... can practice it in different octave configurations. Just do the best you can. Uh, if you've never done this before and you haven't seen this, it's a good idea just to try to 
practice along with some of the stuff I do on the video, take the uh, PDF material, print it out. It's sometimes good to have a physical copy of things, uh, print it out on a music stand and just play along with it and use it in your practice sessions. As always, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe, you know, leave a like for me, uh, leave a comment, speak to me and I will speak with you again in the next video and I thank you so much for taking your time because I know your time is valuable and if you watch my video, I really respect your time and I thank you for watching my material and may you have a fantastic day, evening, week, weekend, wherever you are in the world and we will speak together in the next one. Goodbye.